Skuba, TVC News, Owerri. And about a week to the inauguration of Bola Tinubu as president of Nigeria, United States President Joe Biden has sent a nine-member delegation to attend the event on 29th of May. According to a statement on the White House website, U.S. Secretary of the Department of Housing and Urban Development, Marsha Forge, will lead the delegation. Other members of the delegation are U.S. Embassy Shaji Defer in Abuja, David Green, Sydney Kamlaga Dove, Under Secretary of Commerce for International Trade, uh, Marisa Lago, among others. And meanwhile, plans are underway here in Nigeria to ensure a smooth transition process next week, Monday. Speaking on TVC News program, Countdown to Inauguration, Chairman of the Transition Council, Boss Mustafa, says the team is ready and security operatives are on standby, but to forestall any break of law and order, any breakdown of law and order. Uh, we are putting every processes in place, uh, the security apparatus, uh, the armed forces, the lead agency for uh, civil uh, security is the Nigerian police. Uh, they are putting up everything that ought to be put in place to ensure that we have a seamless transition of power. I can assure you that we will have a very good uh, representation from all over the world. There is a lot of uh, uh, interest that Nigeria has generated on the global map. Uh, realizing that this is one of the most keenly contested elections in, the, in recent history of our country. Uh, three parties securing well over six million votes each. It has never happened. And I believe that uh, because of the keen contest uh, that uh, was attended at this election, the entire world is looking up to us and they, uh, there's a lot of goodwill out there. Uh, people are looking at President Muhammad Buhari's uh, stature as a, a statesman on the continent of Africa and globally. And they will want to come and bid him farewell and also receive into their arms the newly elected uh, president who will take over from. Still ahead on TV 